So before we were able to keep premature infants here in our nursery, the infants had to go out to a tertiary care center. So they had to go to a major city like Louisville or Indianapolis. And that's obviously a little bit far for families. And so um, it's, it's a lot happening at once. Here you are expecting to be with your brand new baby and instead they're shuffled away from you and your partner and your family and then they're taken to another hospital maybe before you even get a chance to meet them. A level two NICU affects our patients in such a positive way because of the fact that if we have a child that needs any special care that we can keep them here closer to the mom. I've been on both sides of, of this coin where I've had to have my own children be in the special care NICU up in Indianapolis. We made the drive for 39 days um, back and forth, and it is physically, mentally, and financially exhausting. Um, and so for us to be able to tell a family that their child does need special care, but they can stay here with us, they can stay here closer to the family, um, is just such a relief. Um, I've had to be on that side where I've had to tell the parents that we have to transport their child. And, and it really is just such a sad feeling where you don't feel like you're a mom because your child is being taken away from you. And so for us to be able to keep that baby with their mother is such a gratifying thing for us as physicians. And, and it is so nice to be able to see that relief with the parents that we don't have to separate the mom and the baby. Well, again, I think it's, you know, a big part of it's keeping parents and newborns together, um, keeping them local where their support systems are. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who either grew up in Jackson County or surrounding county, and so they're, you know, they really rely heavily on, on their family. And being an hour away is much more challenging, especially when you have other kids at home, you have other responsibilities with work, you can't be, you know, driving back and forth, you know, no one wants to drive um, the highway every day to go see their newborn, so they try to stay up there when they can, but, but even that becomes very difficult. So I think just keeping patients, keeping patients local, you know, keeping, keeping newborns close to family and their support system makes, makes a big difference. When you have to take an infant, a newborn infant, away from that mom and dad, and those family members, um, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, it really is. And so mom is trying to heal and um, deal with all of the changes, the hormone changes, the physical changes that happen at delivery, um, but also having to deal with the mental side of that, that now my newborn is being taken out of this building and either flown or driven um, to another higher level of care um, it is, and then your husband or partner is going with that baby usually is what t typically happens and you're, you feel like you're left alone. And then the, the stress that is put on the families. So even if mom were to um, do fine and get discharged from our care, um, then you're talking about driving all of those miles and all the time spent on the road, the financial impact of whether it be gas, whether it be hotel stays, because you want to stay as close as you can to that, that newborn to make sure that you're there. And so um, a lot of times um, facilities don't have those um, rooming in options if they're full, and we're experiencing that a lot right now. So um, being able to keep these newborns and these moms closer to home, it really impacts the whole entire, entire family unit. Having a local NICU means that people can still go to their job and they can still see their baby. And, and so then it does help with the extended caregivers as well. Another thing that um, I think Schneck has been proud of is our, is our baby friendly designation. Um, encouraging not only breastfeeding, but encouraging that, that bonding early on. Um, and I think that's been a, a problem with babies who require uh, transport, require leaving the hospital, it's much more difficult to um, be able to establish that, that breastfeeding support, that, especially that early, those early feeds that are much more critical for their health. Um, it's been a lot more difficult to do that in the past and you know, keeping the babies here is just another way that um, improves their, their long-term health. 
in our service area now, um, since a couple places have stopped delivering babies, we are the only hospital um, in our community uh, surroundings that do deliver babies. And to have that level two is a big deal because if not, you're looking at an hour transfer to a tertiary care center. And sometimes you don't have that time. Um, you know, we can stabilize, but if, if they're born here and we can keep them, that's better for everyone. Um, the community support is, is big because if you're not supported by your community, you're not gonna have the patience. So um, we want this to be a, a su success and it has been so far. And so that's a big push for the community is that we're the only ones and we need your help.